Yo, it's your old Pookie here. <laughs> Look at the shit coming off my beard. <laughs> Sansa, you is your sack full? It's bulging. Well, we better empty it with the help of our friends here. Well, wow, I think you're right. Are we even recording? <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Ho! And welcome to Santa's Grotto, where I'm here with my chief elf, Mr. Elfman Chapman here, uh. and two of my beautiful elven assistants to help you decide what you might like me to stuff down your chimney this Christmas <laughs> Eve. <laughs> so, we've got a Santa's sack here. My sack is bulging, and the elves are going to help me empty it. So many, <laughs> so many terrible double entendres here. Right then, ladies, could I have the first item out of Santa's Drum roll, sack? please, collect a drum roll. She went deep. Oh. Ah, what have we got here? Okay, this is a Vox Stomp Lab uh, IG. This is a perfect present for any guitar player that you know that's maybe started to play guitar recently and uh, got a little amp and a little guitar set up and wants to add some flavor to that with some multi effects. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is plug it into this Vox amplifier that we've got down here, which is a little Vox amplifier in yesterday. And I'm gonna show Rob what it does like in it. Um, if I plug it in here. So what you'll need to buy, this is, by the way, I'll just tell you, this is 49 pounds from your lovely store, Andertons. And um, all you need to make it work is uh, some batteries that it comes with, or if uh, better still, buy a little nine volt power supply. Uh, and you need a couple of guitar leads, just regular guitar leads, one to plug in and one to go from the uh, this to the amplifier. So it fires up and uh, by the looks of things you've got loads and loads of sort of preset type uh, effects here. You've got a squeaky knob there Santa. Yeah, squeaky knob. Um, so this is the kind of thing it sounds like. So if you don't know what a multi-effects unit is, if you've seen those little pedals that you see guitar players stomping on to get different sounds, a little box like this has just got lots of those built in and you can dial them up and choose sounds that you like. And what I quite like about this here is it's sort of genre specific. So you change this knob here to say, do I want a rock sound or a blues sound or whatever? And then you've got a bunch of preset versions within that sound. So we'll start with some blues. <laughs> Sounds like uh, if I go into bypass mode so you can hear what it sounds like with no effect. It's very and, quiet. And what is cool is uh, when we're in bypass mode, we also have a tuner on here so we can tune our guitar. So we'll go back into the uh, regular playing mode. I'm going to go to the, the rock mode. Oh, hard rock, sorry. Let's go here. thing on it. Do it. <laughs> so 
So, that is the Vox Stomp Lab. These are only 49 pounds. Uh, so, pretty much the price of just buying one pedal and you can have several in one. So, if you like that, that's a good Christmas present. But, what we need now is, is the... something better! <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> Next! Next! What have you got, Elves? Rummage Go on, deep. Rummage round. Rummage, rummage deep in oh, there. Oh. oh! Ah, this is going to be an awkward one to demonstrate, so I'm just oh. going to... I'm going to get uh, one of our Elves to wear them in an attractive manner whilst I tell you what they do. These are some new headphones from Vox collaboratively designed with the wonderful headphone manufacturer Audio Technica. If one of you would like to adorn yourself with those. Um, the idea with the Amphones... <laughs> if nothing's going to come out of them, you're fine. So just, my elf ears. Oh, have you got... They do, right. do they fit over elven they ears? They do, even elven ears. Oh, that's fantastic. So the idea... Some of you may know that there's a product that Vox make called an Amplug. And this is a little kind of uh, guitar effects unit in a little box that you plug straight into your guitar and you wear headphones off of it and you get sort of guitar sounds through it. Anyway, the idea of these headphones is that that's actually built in to the headphones. So you can either use the headphones as a regular pair of really high quality Audio Technica headphones just to listen to your MP3 player or whatever, or you can actually plug your guitar into the headphones and get sort of, you know, distortion sounds and effects sounds and stuff like that. Mix it with your MP3 player if you want to and uh, listen to how it sounds. So there you go. That's the Vox Amphones. Brilliantly done there. Those, by the way, are £99. Great Christmas present. A bit like an Amplug with headphones. Exactly like that. But So therefore, an Amphone. I see what you did there, Lee. Santa. What else is in Santa's sack? What else is in Santa's sack? Let's rummage around some more. I think, I think the elves should tell us what it's called as well when they dig it out. Drum roll! What this is, is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a what? <laughs> it's an electro harmonics big muff. Silly, what is it? <laughs> I think it's a pedal. Would you like a big muff? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be that. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the all time classic fuzz box from Electro Harmonics. Uh, made, I, have, I have the classic original. Yeah, made come in the wooden oh, infamous by uh, the legend who would have been 70 years old this week. <laughs> have you just been told what a muff is? Yeah, okay. So, this is the big muff by Electro Harmonics. It not only looks awesomely uber, uber cool, it's exactly how it looked back in the old days when effects pedals were big, hence the word big, uh, and the sound is like a fuzz, hence the word muff. So, do you want to hear this? Yeah. Let's play. I think we might need a battery. Has anyone got a little Phillips screwdriver? Oh no, we're good. Right. Okay. This is what it sounds like without. This is what it sounds like with. Fantastiche! So, what was that again, Sylvie? As a fuzz pedal. <laughs> <laughs> well evaded. Um, right, what's next in Santa's sack? Drum roll! Hopefully some flange. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Um, the original Crybaby pedal. Awesome. Has well, we're in a Hendrix vein now, aren't we? We are. So the Big Muff was about. I wouldn't like to be in Hendrix's vein, though. That might be. No, that's true. There was a lot of LSD funny. in that yeah. vein. Um, this is another Hendrixy kind of pedal. This is an awesome Wawa. Wait, wait, wait. wait. About... I think I think the elves should wear it for us. I agree. Um, this is about sixty quid, sixty-five pounds, something like that. Um, 
This is uh, possibly the greatest selling uh, guitar pedal of all time with something like five million sold now. It's called the Crybaby Wah. You put it on the floor and you rock back and forward and make porno music sounds. But anyway, my elves are gonna do that for me. That's beautiful! <laughs> Did I ever tell you, in my spare time, I'm hit Radio 1 DJ from the 70s, Dave Lee Travis. I didn't realise that! <laughs> 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 Thank you for rocking our world. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much for that elven people. Can I have the next item out of my sack, please? Oh, I, do you know what I mentioned? Is this the last one? Or is there one more? Okay. There's two more. I mentioned this before, didn't I? Again, I'm not going to plug this in, but it's kind of a similar idea to the uh, Vox headphones that we showed you. This is called an Amplug. Can you see? Check it out. So basically, you just plug this right angle jack here directly into the guitar, and then you plug some headphones, like iPod headphones, into here, and it's like having a little amp in your guitar. And these aren't very expensive. These are about twenty-nine pounds or thirty pounds. Something. And there like are that. a few different variants. Like there's a, there's a Joe Satriani there is. vibed one, like and a, that one. Yeah, a rock one, and a lead one, and an acoustic guitar one. There's a bass one. So really, whatever you play, these are kind of funky. Allows for a bit of silent practice. So that's kind of funky, and um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people People would like that this Christmas. Next! Yeah, we keep forgetting the drum rolls. Artificial. Oh! oh boss this is apt. In fact, I might buy you one of these this Christmas, Rob, because uh, <laughs> as you guys know who watch uh, YouTube, staying in tune in these videos in this super temperature hot place is tough. So this is a Boss TU10, and it's by Boss because it's Boss. So. <laughs> This one here is like a brown one. I think they may come in different colours, but I'm not entirely sure. Do you want to demonstrate it? I do. Show the elves how this works. Well, this is the Chromatic Tuner TU10 by Boss. Boss, you'll know, make things that work and don't break. Um, probably quite a USP for Boss, because I've never broken anything of theirs. Me neither. And it's a chromatic headstock tuner, so you whack it on the end of your headstock. Comsa. <laughs> like that, and it noms the headstock. And if you're playing around like this, it doesn't fall off. And you press the buttons that I haven't looked at, really. Um, <laughs> uh, select. Is that select. It? On select. and off. Do it. Okay. Is it working? No, that isn't it. There's the button on top turns it on. Now ah. it's on, and it's got a display it. screen. It's Go backlit ah. and everything. Ah. So, <laughs> oh. what string would you like Chappers to tune? B string. No, that's the wrong answer. Oh. Which other string? B string. No, no, that's wrong too. A? No. no, no, no. B, C, G, E, F, G, H, G, H, G. G string is yeah. the right yeah. answer. Yeah. It okay. took a while. They've got a lot to learn, but trust me, by this time next year, I'll have them whipped into shape. <laughs> okay, so I was an F sharp, <laughs> and now I've got a G string. G string. Maybe not <laughs> H string. H string. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's H. Or H. <laughs> well, I've tuned that G string for you, Santa. Do so, it. So, so here's, here's how I stand out with that G string tuned. Ready? Yeah. Oh, why is that not working then? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, because I didn't plug you in, that's why. Why wouldn't you plug me in? Do it! Ready? G string. <laughs> Have we got one tune in? That's the 
G string perfectly tuned. Yeah, just a shame the other five are out of tune. But never no, mind. no, they're in tune with E flat. Ah, I see. Anyway, so you get the idea. So if you want a clip on tuner, there's actually lots of companies make clip on tuners Boss, uh, Fender, Planet Waves, loads of cool tuners. So if you want one of those, these are typically anything from What's about $10 pounds for a cheap one up to about 30 or 40 pounds for a real posh sing, one. Sing it to it. No. It, you don't have to sing into it, it works off the vibration of your oh. finger. Oh. Just, just... Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. What's the next item in my... We must be getting down to the last one or two items. So it's just the last one. It better be a good one. Ah, what have ah. we got? Bad monkey. It's Le songe méchant. Bad monkey. Say, say, bad monkey. Bad monkey. Exactly. <laughs> um, so the bad monkey is another drive pedal from a company called Digitech. Who do we know that uses the bad monkey? Uh, Mr. Phil X. Happy Christmas, Phil. Happy Christmas. Hope you're Phil. enjoying yourself doing your fretted Americana Are videos. You I can guarantee Phil X is enjoying himself. <laughs> he will be looking at the two elves, going, "Damn you, chappers! I want to be in that I video." Will. I've got tuned I dreads will. now. Phil's a nice guy. We're going to see him in January. We are. I'm getting so confused with what leads I need here. I think that goes in here. Leads. I think this leads. goes in here. <laughs> and then we need the other end of this, which hopefully is down here somewhere. There it is. So, the bad monkey. This is what it sounds like without. Sounds like with. Monkey again is a killer value distortion pedal because it's only about 40 pounds. Um, although, again, there's loads of cool distortion pedals that you could buy for someone that you love this Christmas. So, go to the Anderson's website and check them out. But that's a cool one for the money. Are we done? That brings us to the end of Santa's sack. It does indeed. It's well, it's been emptied. I've got to go and feed some reindeers um, and get ready for my trip around the world on December the 24th. Um, I'd like you to thank my two amazing elven helpers here, Hannah and Sylvia. Can I? That was a cue. Yay! <laughs> <Woo! laughs> oh! <laughs> and of course, the amazing head of chief elven security, Rob Chappers. <laughs> You're too tight. I've been Captain Santa. I'll see Woo! you on the 25th. Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. I'm the captain. And this is everybody that you see around you, including Paul Annis from Maplewood Studios. Pablo Jonesy. Pablo Jonesy, Pablo. the tech of awesome doomness. We've got Dan Davies, we've got Dave Hollingworth, we've got Bia Massad, we've got Hannah, and we've got Sylvia. And this is part of the crew, most of the crew, about all Pretty the crew, much all the crew. crew, that make these videos that you have enjoyed and endured over the past yeah. three Yeah, three years. 2012 has been an amazing year for us. Uh, Rob's got more subscribers than we ever thought was imaginable on his channel now. Anderton's has won uh, the best retailer in the UK award for the third year running. Woo! Woo! Um, yeah. The, the videos are being watched by more people than ever now. Um, and basically, we just wanted to thank you. We did. Because if it wasn't for you guys and girls, mostly guys, 4% <laughs> girls. Um, and, uh, I can't like imagine a nice lager. Yeah. 4%. If it wasn't for you guys and 4% girls, then we wouldn't have a job. No, well I would. <laughs> you would. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have a job. Some say I don't have a job anyway. You're the only person here who wouldn't have a job. In fact, if it wasn't for you, the only person here that wouldn't be employed is me. And, uh, and I have to thank you for but that. I'd say if it wasn't for you, our jobs would be much more boring. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to have a couple of days yeah. a month being silly. So the opportunity to say thank you, but also if you have any suggestions or comments or ideas, for next year's videos, maybe you want a lot more budget, more models, and some ammo, guns, explosives. 
put them in the comment section below because he might even do it. You never know. You, know? you never know. So anyway, happy, happy Christmas. Christmas! Videos as well. Though. Okay, turn that way. Hold Not. on to the thingy. Well, thank you for watching videos, and we have to go back to the Santa's house now, so bye! Bye! bye. <laughs>